I may be trading it to the farmer, but the farmer said nothing about leaving fuel in it. I wouldn't do that for real. Just so you know, it's your humble step full of short logs. And today, we are back on the Dachau map. Let's go. We're going to deliver these logs and get ourselves a new truck. Let's go. And we're going to use that new truck. To deliver cargo and find our way out of this mess, let's go! I keep saying, let's go, man. How about I throw in a yeah? Yeah! Now let's go down through this mud and take a shortcut, or at least a detour. Let's do this, man. So I did find a path. Instead of going where those rocks are, you go through the edge of the river. Yes, indeed. Just for recap, we are stuck. We went on a little getaway to Dacha. I don't know what it was. Was it to visit family? Was it to just, you know, experience wilderness? Probably something like that. And the pipe, the oil pipeline broke. It burst or something. And then the local administration can't fix it. So we decided to volunteer so we can get out of town and get back home. And so far it's honestly, it's going pretty good. A couple episodes ago it wasn't the best, but I think, I think we're going pretty smoothly now. But since we have logs, I do not trust that. I don't trust that bridge there, that broken dilapidated bridge. Oh, I don't know if I even trust the marshland. The bridge, there's definitely a higher risk of dropping our logs. And remember, we don't want to drop our logs. That's not how truckers roll. Oh, I get it. That's not how truckers roll. Oh, uh, not how truckers roll. That's a funny one, man. Yeah. Okay, so far, so good. I don't know how many times I'll say okay in this episode. Hopefully a bearable amount, not an un unbearable amount. Okay, I don't know. I guess that's like sighing for me. I don't really do a good sigh. You know, like... You know, I, I don't know. Maybe it's fine. I don't know why I'm concerned about my sighing ability. Automatic clutch tap, clutch tap. The rap song from last episode. Yesterday for you, like an hour ago for me. Whoa. Come on. We can do this. Last episode, I explored this map almost completely. So we couldn't get past this rock fall because there's no way for us to get consumables and uh, repair that yet, or clear that, I should say. We got that watchtower on the episode, then we fell down there, and I decided to explore on my own. Yeah, we got this too. There's a broken bridge, you can't cross there, so I took the detour here, went through here, went along here, through the clearing and the trees, picked up this quest, that quest, Went there, there's actually a path going into this factory, so it's a shortcut over to this side. Sorry about that, I need some water, my throat's getting dry again. I don't think it's because I've been talking for a couple hours on this recording. I think it, maybe it's, like it could be that, it could be that I'm just not used to talking for this long ever since I stopped doing live streams. Uh, maybe it could also be I'm just the rate I'm talking. So let's try that again. The words per minute that are uh, going, flowing, going, going straight out of my flappers. My flapping lips. Your humble lips. Let's go, man. I'm a trucker back again. Yeah, you like this guy. You know him. You love him. The humble trucker. Yeah. 
There's freaking gold, man. Wait, which way am I going? I forget. Oh no, man. The decision. Where do I go, man? Oh no, I'm lost. Okay, let's help Humble here. We want to go to our... There's a broken bridge here, so we want to go to our right. Okay, thank you for that, man. I'll go right now. Wait, we're not going right. We're going ahead a little bit. There, if I didn't switch out of Humble and I just kept going, probably would have lost direction. I don't think Humble has a very good sense of direction for a trucker. Uh, don't tell him that though. Wait, wait, what are you talking about? Man, you better not be talking about me behind my back. Humble trucker will find out. I'll find out, don't you worry. Yeah, I'm the detective, humble detective. I'm a trucker. I am maybe a trucker at heart, but I'm also a detective at heart. Yeah, you did not know that. Well, I guess I did that trucker cop episode, so probably you knew that already, man. Indeed, I did. Indeed, I did. The safest way is just going straight through the middle here. Oh, this truck is capable. It seems to be more capable than the Yar, that's good. You have to be extremely careful. Let's go around this way a bit and then start to swing her around before we start climbing the hill here. There we go. This, I can't tell what's happening here. We're just gonna go for it. There's the R. Honestly, the step is smaller than the yard. Oh my goodness. Well, I guess that means bigger trucks don't go through the mud. Maybe it's more tires? Well, the yard has six wheels, but this has 10. Okay, maybe it is more tires. This is four dualies on this semi truck is this a semi truck i don't know work truck some sort of truck something like that oh here we go don't tip it now we're gonna get the voron d d i think it's the voron d something like that right oh it doesn't it doesn't show it okay i guess we have to unlock it first cargo management short logs Let's go! Oh no. Okay, it's a good thing I left the ER. So let's use the fuel from the step. I don't think, I don't think I'm talking my high pitch story. I need to talk low. We need to go low and slow. Is there anything with short logs? Because I kind of want to just leave this truck here. If I don't need short logs, Oh, really? There's nothing? Oh, okay. I guess that means story step. I don't want to leave you out of the loop, but we have to trade you, step. We have to trade you. I'm sorry, but this is the way truck exchanges work. But I was getting used to the step. I learned her full name, the step 310E. Is that what it is? Yes, it is. And I really just wanted to get to know, you know, I was getting to know her. I've grown fond of this truck. Oh, well, in order to get out of town and see my uh, family again, I guess I'm going to have to trade you, truck. Good old step, I guess you weren't my truck in the first place, and I have to leave you behind anyways. But man. Yeah, refuel from the step. I may be trading it to the farmer, but the farmer said nothing about leaving fuel in it. I wouldn't do that for real. Just so you know, not the TUZ, I want the YAR. I think I was trying to make a pirate joke, but I couldn't think of anything else piratey. Man, the trailer, I don't care. Jackknife it. Jackknife squad. Yeah. Actually, rednecks do care. Rednecks don't treat their trailers. And their trucks that crap. They don't jackknife. What are you doing, man? 
What are you doing? Oh, humble trucker would never do that. Humble trucker. I'm a tisk. I'm a tisk muscular humble narrator behind me. Tisk tisk. Man, tisk tisk. Yard to the rescue. Uh, repair. Target. Boron. Oh, that was so close. No more repair points. That is unfortunate. Loaf to the rescue. Well, I'll see you when I get back. Oh no, I thought she was unsinkable. I thought she was unsinkable. How did this happen to my loaf? Oh, the rocks. I see. Well, I guess she is unsinkable. Oh no! I just about made it. I think the yard can help with that though. There we go. Okay, stop engine. Change truck. Pop tart or no the loaf. I was thinking there's a mod called Loaf Pop Tart. After what feels like an e eternity of pain. Uh, well, it has given me a new perspective on life, and I now have a newfound, uh, what? I can't speak, man. Newfound appreciation for the loaf. So let's, without further ado, let's repair the Voron D. Yeah, the truck is yours now, let's go. Well, I do hope you enjoyed this episode, this crazy, crazy episode. Please leave a like, please subscribe, please leave a comment. What was your favorite truck I used this episode? Yeah, I guess that's it. Until next time, stay humble like a trucker. Wait, wait, what are you talking about?